everyone, welcome to Casual AF, a commander show where I bring on super cool folks and we have a fun game of magic in a casual fashion. We're joined by Light, Cody, uh, the Jun Fun, and Nexus MTG. And uh, yeah, why don't we go around the table and everyone introduce yourselves in your deck and tell us a little about ya. Uh, My first because I'm in the top left. Indeed you are. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Light. You may know me from... Previously working at Wizards of the Coast, I now work at Universe's show coming out. So yeah, working on a different card game now, but very excited to play with this group. And um, I today am playing Shorkai. Um, it is not a super optimized Shorkai, it is a mostly just graded pre-con. I just want to play something a little different than what I normally play, which is Rena or Octavia or Niv Mizzets. I want to play something different. Um, we'll be building something for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's who I, that, that's who I am. That's what I'm playing. <laughs> um, well, hey everyone. Uh, my name is Cody, aka the Jun Fun. I am a Twitch streamer, uh, occasional YouTuber as well, uh, in general Magic Twitter person. Uh, I focus primarily on CEDH content these days, um, but my roots are in casual, so I definitely still love. Sleeping up and playing some casual EDH with good pals. Um, I am playing Yuriko the Tiger Shadow, notably uh, my Kakashi Harake uh, from Naruto, Alter, shout out to Modfly, the best alterist in the game, in my opinion. Um, it's just ninja stuff. Uh, we're trying to get big flips with Yuriko off the top of the deck to try and drain the table for upwards of you know 13 life at a time, if possible. Um, yeah, uh, not Jund, uh, which might be shocking to some people, but uh, <laughs> this is a deck that I, I love dearly and I've put a lot of love into. Uh, it's not by any means like a turbo Yuriko deck, it's not CEDH by any means, um, just ninja good stuff and there's some pretty signed cards and stuff in here, so it's become kind of a love letter uh, for me to have this deck be blinged out as much as possible. But uh, yeah, you can find all my stuff at thejundfun.com and uh, I'll be at MagicCon Chicago, so if you see me around, uh, say hey and get stickers and all that fun stuff like that. But this that's me. definitely coming out after Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to expedite the process, expedite the ending. Yeah. Well, I do have a merch store. You can get all my merch on there if you like cool stuff like my logo and things like that. So. All right. Is it, is it my go? It is your go. Hello. Hi. I am uh, Nexi or Nexus MTG on most socials. I am uh, the Bulk Goblin, the Bulk Queen. At some point, it's going to escalate into Bulk Dragon at this point uh, yeah. because it truly is a horde. You know, I did surpass 200,000 cards in my collection, so I think it's safe to say Bulk Dragon. Yeah, um, I think so. Yeah. At, at this point, I'm just laying on them like a little bed. I'm just like Smaug and the, the cards are my treasure. Um, but today I am playing Grist. Uh, if you guys have seen me play um, on other shows uh, with other with other uh, amazing Magic players, I have played Grist uh, quite a lot. But oh, there we go. Uh, but uh, Grist is actually newly upgraded, and as of an hour before recording, uh, <laughs> has has gone from uh, I. I would like to say this has now with upgrades become one of my most powerful decks. I'm still very new to uh, EDH, but this has been like uh, uh, my baby. I love this so much. And one of my favorite things about her is that I get to use infinite tokens and draw a fuck ton of uh, insects. So we're going to have a lot of fun with that. Um, and we're going to see how these upgrades go. But, uh, yeah, also we'll be at MagicCon Chicago. So, you know, even though this is coming out after, if you saw me, put a comment down that you saw me. Yeah, and that there would be go. cool. <laughs> get those get those interactions yes, those, up. Yes. Yes. Get the yes. Algorithm. <laughs> oh, yes. Feed the algorithm. Comment. Comment. Yes. Comment. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And like and subscribe. Oh, yes, and, yes, and, yes. and comment with your uh, your favorite insect. Yes. And uh, I will yell at you if you put something that is not an insect because insects have six legs. <laughs> and if but you and know. if you don't know anything about that, anyways. Yeah. I don't this know what worms spider, are classified right, on. Right, Nexi? Huh? <laughs> this insect is spider, right? Right, Nexi? <laughs> yes. yes. And, uh, We're just going to... We're just gonna for your safety, I'll ignore your question. Six legs, right? 
Actually, I believe that Daddy Long Legs. Uh, so a lot of people think that here's just some do like a little some transition of like <laughs> spider facts. Uh, spider facts with Nexi. Um, <laughs> uh, Daddy Long Legs. A lot of people will refer to cellar spiders as Daddy Long Legs when those aren't actually Daddy Long Legs. And real Daddy Long Legs are also known as Harvest Men, which mm -hmm. are insects. Wow. Uh, Yep, we get lots of them in my area. <laughs> we just got learned. And that was your time. With th <laughs> this is why I'm classified to from... this is why I'm classified to play this deck. Yes, absolutely. Whoa. I'm your host for Phyrexia. I'm gonna be playing Vohar today. Uh or Voja, not Vohar. Um this is uh puppies in uh elf deck. It's gonna get really big and really wide, maybe. And I'm gonna try to punch y'all for a bunch of damage. My deck. And do you want to start us off? Yes. Beautiful. Good luck. Have fun. Good luck. Have fun. I will start off with a Temple of Enlightenment card, and then I will pass. Okay. I will draw for turn. I am going to play this uh, Thran Portal at ETBs. Uh, I am going to choose Forest. And I will take a damage as I play this Avacyn's Pilgrim. I will pass the turn. All right. I will draw. Uh, I am going to put down this Choked Estuary tap, choosing not to reveal a swamp or an island from my hand. And then I'm going to put down an Ornithopter. And then I'm going to pass the turn from there. The best card in the game. Literally the Next to Stormcrow, of course. <laughs> the best but... <laughs> ninja in the entire deck right here. Yeah, <laughs> All right, we will go ahead and draw, and I will do a command tower, and I will tap it for black for a Bialis Skull Dweller, oh, I and I will pass turn. Mm -hmm. And... Ram. Ram? Okay. Yep. Whenever you cast an aura, equipment, or vehicle card, draw an item. And I'll untap, and I'll draw. I will play this elegant parlor tapped on ETB. I will surveil. Um, I will keep that card on top. Oh no. I kind of like to keep that card on top. So instead of doing what I was going to do this turn, um, I'll just go ahead and take another damage for a hardened scales. And that'll be my turn. Okie dokie. We will untap and draw. Uh, let's see. I am going to put down an underground river, my land for turn. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go to combat here. And uh, let's go ahead and swing the Ornithopter over at Nexi. Um, How dare before, you? Yeah, before combat damage, First we're going to cool thing. Yeah. We're going to pay a blue and a black to Ninjutsu and Yuriko. The Tiger Shadow bouncing the Ornithopter back to my hand. So it's going to hit you for one. Oh my gosh. I'm hurt. Damage. Yep. It's happening. Uh, I'm hurt. I was just trying to share bugs. <laughs> Insects. <laughs> I would talk about bugs. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a big flip here and see what happens. And it's a land. None oh, of you take yes. any damage. Oof, the Yuriko uh, whip. Uh, we love to see it. The Yuriko Oof. whip. Uh, <laughs> second main. We'll just replay the Ornithopter and uh, seven seven cards in hand. We'll pass. Oh my goodness! All right, we will untap and draw, and we will do a little swamp for turn. Mm -hmm. Uh, I will pay a black and a green for Insidious Roots. Oh, I'm so Ooh, hikey on that card for Christ. <laughs> I love that card so I much. Just, I just added this one, and I'm so stoked about it. It's, and like, I love that I actually card. I got this from a draft, too, and it's foil, and it's so pretty. Nice. nice. So we got, we got that, and you know what? Let's go ahead and... Uh... That's a really new yeah. card in my head. You know what, Cody? Cody, you're, you're safe this time. Oh. But light Whoa. is not. Hey. Whoa. Wow. Shots Someone call an ambulance, all around not the for table. me. A 1-1 one, one death toucher with toxic one coming your way. Yeah. The toxic. Sram. Oh. Man, getting poisoned just one is 
Lights just over there scary. catching strays from me over here. Like I was like fully prepared to take it. Like rebound from you. Um, it's it's like a mosh pit. We're just attacking yeah, each other yeah, in a yeah. circle. There we go. Yeah, that's very fitting. I was it makes me really so nervous stuff. to take <laughs> to take that. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. If it makes you feel any better, I don't think I have anything else that has poison, or not poison, but toxic, or like... It uh, does make me feel a lot better. Proliferate? Okay. It does make me feel a lot better, yeah. I I can't speak on on Cody or Chloe, though. No, no, I don't... Luckily, I cut Triumph of the Hordes from the stack. Yeah. There's no secret infect in ninjas. We're good. (laughs) But could you imagine? Uh, I mean, I could easily do it. I passed my turn. Yeah. I have been known to secretly put infects in a lot of my casual decks. So if you go my mox, you'll see there's a <laughs> Oops, secret, all infect. There's, there's secret infect in, in a lot of decks because uh, I'm a Jun player. We're toxic by nature. We like we like having that kind of stuff. So, yeah. you know. As, as you do, you know, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, I'm going to take two and I'm going to play Mir Smith. Oh. And I... Just passed. I'm just playing the wholesome magic, even though I'm over here infected. <laughs> I'll draw. Okay, so I think I want to start by tapping Avacyn's Pilgrim and not knocking my deck over for a land tax. Oh. And then I would like to. What would I like to do? Uh, I think we're going to tap two and we're going to growth rampantly. I'm gonna go find right. a basic and put it onto the battlefield tap, shuffle, and pass my turn. Okay. We will untap and draw. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. I believe the move for me is I'm going to drop down a reliquary tower as my land for turn, so I have no max hand size, which is great. Uh, then. See. Looking at everyone's board. Um, yeah, we can do we can do that. Uh so we're gonna go colorless. We're gonna lose the life from the underground river for a black, and then we're gonna go blue from the choke estuary, so we'll go to 39. Um uh, so three mana, and we're gonna drop down an Ashiok Dream Render. Wow. So this one, yeah, wow. This one, uh, <laughs> right after my so, land tax, huh? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. How dare. Spells and abilities your opponent's uh, control can't cause that controller to search their library. Uh, and then I can minus one Ashiok to have somebody mill four cards and exile all of my opponent's uh, graveyards. But uh, we're just going to keep Ashiak at a, at a healthy five for right now. Um, keep that life total I can't up believe there. you would do this. Dark Pack cosplay would never. Uh, you know, it's it's true, but uh, it's uh, you know, I was at a, I was at a very violent metal concert last night, and I'm still feeling the violence. So I figured, oh. why not bring it on a Saturday morning? You know, yeah. so uh, wow, that's how, as we do, as we do, uh, going to combat here. Uh, I feel which is probably only right uh, that I also just go ahead and swing Yuriko at you as well, Chloe. Uh, wow. just for, just for one here. Yeah, I unfortunately have to take the Yuriko. All right, we'll do a little flip here and see what happens. It is a torment of hail, uh, hailfire, so it's only two. Everyone is taking only two, only two, only two, only two. Only two right. for now. Noted, uh, noted. Don't worry, that's torment of hellfire in hand. I was just gonna say, for what it's worth, uh, there is no way for me in this deck, at least, to generate like a crazy amount of mana to make this go nuts. Uh, I just really love this card, and no, I, I always like sneaking it. I like sneaking it, it into decks yeah. just because it's fun. Like Same. I don't know. Same. It's a big um, part of mine. I love that card. Yeah, like this descent into Avernus and like Bolus of Citadel. Like those are like mm-hmm. my kind of pet cards that I always love having in decks. But um, yeah, I think from there I'm gonna go ahead and pass over to Nexi. All right. We will go ahead and untap and draw. Mm-mm-mm. You know, we're gonna do a uh, a swarm yard as land for turn, and let's go ahead and get grist out. The bug is here. Great. And you know what? You know what? We're gonna. Hey, let me see. 
Oh, this is going to be the hardest to read dice, but it's the only one that I have within reach that's going to fit this. Understandable. All right. Okay. So, I might, I might, who, how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? I feel Ashiok's not long for this world. You know, that's the thing. That's the thing, is that I really need to search my library. <laughs> I know, I know, <laughs> I know. So, uh, you know, I'm cool so, long as, so long oh. as Gris can, uh, so long as Gris can stay on the board uh, until my next turn, we're going to go ahead and down tick to sack the Skull Dweller yep. and get rid of Ashiok. Yep, that tracks. Yep. I didn't want to infect anybody else, only light. So <laughs> just, just me. Yeah, it's light. No, 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 no worries. Next his job here is done. Like, all right, see you guys later. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just I I infect light. I get rid of Ashiok. Cool. Time to scoop. Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I will pass my turn. Um, and and. Bring out Sword Tie. Um, so I'll trigger Scram. And I will drop a card. Um, and I think. Um, Scram will. Hmm. Near Smith will swing at Gris. <gasps> The betrayal. The betrayal. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, I'm sitting that here works. with poison coursing through my veins right now. <laughs> hey, two brutes. <laughs> and I'll say it's almost March. Two brutes. Okay. Hey. March here. Like. Uh, All right. Later. Well, I'm, uh, I will. I I will be scooping. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, I um, I will go and, ahead and cry. Oh God. And that is. And now I will scoop that that I've done my job here. Sure, why? Well, Grist, yeah, well. Grist was not nearly as big of a threat <laughs> as Ashiok was. No, definitely agree. You, you look at me; I got both of them gone. <laughs> you know, I regret punching you. I regret <laughs> punching and infecting you. <laughs> oh my gosh! You had no reason to, Nixie. I, I was. It, I, <laughs> See, the, ca the cascade you know, of right. effects that happened here. Like, Nixie had every right to infect me, and I was fully prepared to take it. Right. And now, look yeah. what happened. We're both we're both doomed now, Nixie. You yeah. Know, you signed our fate here. <laughs> here. I, will, I will say we're even now. So. Yeah, that, you know, you're, you're single poison. And me now think... having to pay five for my commander is totally even. I think that's so, fair, right? Um, it's just a uh, cause and effect right there. I tell you, Wait, you're mm -hmm. you're ignoring that very important one life I lost too. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. You're right. Sorry, sorry. One forty of the way there to losing this game. However, however, how much life has Cody made you lose? Only two. Twice two. as much. Twice, twice as much. much. Twice yeah. as much. I mean, twice as I much. Mean, that's so, right. all. You can't so argue twice as much consequence. You can't argue twice as much consequence should be going Cody's you, way. I can't. You know, in the I feel like I'm kind of the victim here because Ashiok <laughs> didn't stop anybody from doing anything. I just, you know, did a casual ninja attack, and now I'm <laughs> over here getting destroyed. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm sure that's. I'm yeah, sure that's sure. all. Sure. <laughs> I think it I'm was. Gonna... You know what? It was prevention versus apprehension. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, learned that at my doing, uh, minority <laughs> report. I think yeah, is, yeah. I think uh, I'm just gonna keep it simple and bring out the wolf, and that's gonna be my turn. Uh, Vigilance trample ward three for a five five. Uh, whenever Voja attacks, put X one one counters on each creature you control, where X is the number of L's you control. Draw a card for each wolf you control. This thing awesome. is a menace. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, we're gonna draw. Um, Alright, let's drop 
down a drowned catacomb has to enter tap because I amazingly still do not have a basic swamp or uh, island for some reason, which is wow. unusual. Uh, but we're getting land. Only a true so. CDH player would. would. <laughs> yeah, and, I mean, you know, <laughs> you'd have to call me out like that. Like, you know, <laughs> they, are, they are in here for what it's worth, and they are at the full <laughs> Amagawa full art ones. So, I love you know, I have loved literally one, one basic <laughs> land in my Niv Mizzet deck. <laughs> nice. There you go. Um, okay. Three mana. What can we do? Uh, ooh, I guess we could. You can cast infinite ornithopters. <laughs> I, you know, I could. If, so many. If I had a way to do that. Um, yeah, I think what we're gonna do is this. Let's go reliquary tower for colorless, and then a choked estuary for a blue. Uh, we are going to enchant smoke shroud onto Yuriko. Uh, so Yuriko is plus one plus one and has flying. Uh, and then notably, whenever a ninja uh, enters the battlefield under my control, I can return Smoke Shroud from my graveyard to the battlefield attached to that ninja that just entered. Oh. Um, so nice little tech there involving ninjutsu and stuff. Um, combat. Let's go to it, shall we? Um, light. I feel like I gotta send. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, you know, what, did, you, what crazy. have I done? Wow. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Vengeance for Grist. You know, vengeance for Grist here, uh, <laughs> by proxy of Ashiok. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> but you got a you got a two four coming at you here in the air. I got rid of the Grist that got rid of your Ashiok. Is anything you should be thanking me? <laughs> Not really, because it kind of made Ashiok's the destruction uh, a moot point. Really, you know, so that's the way that I see it, at least. But, it's a uh, three commander. Is what it's, you uh, it's gonna be two commander, yeah. You have to go one okay. three and it's plus one plus one, yeah. So two commander, uh, and then we'll go ahead and flip over. Ooh, a devastation tide. Everyone take five, please. Oh my gosh. Don't worry, I am not casting that. That is strictly just to have uh mana or uh, have life go. It, down. It's just fodder. Uh-huh. It's just fodder for Yuriko, yeah. I, I am not one to uh to bounce things and wipe the board. It's never really been my my vibe. Uh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pass from there. Oh, All right. If you tell me there's not a Yargle in there for that same reason, I'm going to be very disappointed. Uh, there is not a Yargle in here, uh, unfortunately. The betrayal. Uh, well, to be <laughs> fair, to be fair, this deck had, was built like, I don't know, geez, uh, close to like three, four years ago, and it's been pretty much untouched since then. So Fair. fair but... All right. So I'm going to pay a green and a black for a grizzly salvage uh revealing the top five cards of my library put a creature or land card from among them into my hand then the rest into the graveyard so let's see i'm gonna cry oh no you're doubling season <laughs> doubling season assassin's trophy <laughs> saber ants uh nurturing peatland and a swamp well you take the ant or the peatland it's a good question actually Oh, that that is a really good question. Yeah. I like the ants because they're funny. The ants are funny, <laughs> to be fair. To be fair. All right. So, oh, this hurts. This really hurts. Yeah, that was uh, that was a rough one. That was Doubling painful to watch. And a trophy. Not a, not as uh, painful as watching Grist die right after I said if she can just survive until my next turn. Um, I like to imagine you know, she died like Oogie Boogie did. In, uh, oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Just in unraveled. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, it hurts, but we're going to do Malakir Meyer. Oh no. It's okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oof, it's oof. Will, and we'll pass turn. Uh, <laughs> nothing worse than doing that with those MDFCs. Uh, <laughs> Right. So I think first thing I'm going to do is do Shorkai, draw two cards, and then discard a card, and create a... I'm going to discard eight planes, because... Um, and then I will create a pilot. Um, because I'm still moving, you're going to get a business card as my pilot. Ooh, lovely. There we go. Yeah. Um, 
Well, what kind of business card? Is it the business of misery? It's for my <laughs> car that is top. currently being um so, you know, kind of kind of fitting for uh, an artifact vehicle deck, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, it's my mm -hmm. my Hyundai mechanic. Um <laughs> shout out to Lights Mechanic. Yeah. There you go. Shout out. <laughs> Mark. Thank you, Mark. Um <laughs> let's see. I will one, two, three. Is this four? Um for indomitable angel. Let me move this over because I have this dumb aspect ratio right now. Um love indomitable. Yeah, um, they are currently not uh, metalcraft active. Um, I just have one computer. When metalcraft is active, all of my art. Um, cool. I think is. I'm sorry. Did you say you were going to combat? No, I'm just passing. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you said going to combat. Um, nope. Untap. I have a land tax trigger. Oh, I'm going to go find one of each basic. I have one. I think I have one more of each. Um, I played a mountain last turn, so let's play a plains this turn. Um, I will. I would like to tap this for a green, taking a damage. For a snarling wolf. So here's three. I think that's how we want to do it. Yeah. For a Fleet Foot Dancer, a Elf Druid, Temple Lifelink, Haste, 4-4. Four, four. I'm going to go to combat. Um, I'm going to send... Unfortunately, Cody, you have Voja coming at you. Okay. And um, next C, you have the next highest life total, so Fleet Foot Dancer is going to come over at you. I'll have an yep. attack trigger. Um, I have three elves currently on board, so my creatures will get buffed by three. So Voja is going to be an 8-8 eight, eight coming at you, Cody, and Fleet Foot will be a 7-7 seven, seven coming at you next C. Oh. oh, boy. Uh, I will take the 8 Beautiful. Yep, I'm taking the seven. I am down to twenty-five. And I'm gonna draw nice. two cards because I control two wolves. Oh, actually, no. It's gonna be more because I have hard skills. Hold on. Oh. Uh, uh, so, um, <laughs> hold on. I forgot hard skills existed. Um. So it's actually gonna be one more for both of you. Okay. Down to okay. twenty-four. Nine command. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. Um, I haven't even gotten to make an insect yet. Yeah, for real. <laughs> next time, like, you're like, I like bugs. Um, I will have to move to a cleanup step as I pass my turn. I have too many cards in my hand, turns out. I'm going to discard two hands. I shouldn't have tried to be the good guy before. Yeah, Should have just made my insects. Just... You yeah, right. poisoned me. <laughs> hey, Good some insects poison are poisonous. Yeah, that's how it goes. True. <laughs> Bugs have no moral compass. <laughs> <laughs> Truthfully, yes, it's true. Bugs and morals <laughs> don't intertwine. That's a, exactly. That's a we'll, we'll make a t-shirt for you next week. Bugs have no moral compass. <laughs> like that's can make that happen before Chicago. Uh, Oh Let's my be God. here. Uh, we are. If you bought that shirt in Chicago, comment down below. <laughs> yes, yes. If you bought that in Chicago, comment down below. Did y'all see uh, the windbreaker? My God. By the way? Oh, I'm getting that. Oh, the windbreaker. Yeah, I, have to, I have to get the windbreaker. I it's so cute. love windbreakers so much. Uh, yes, very much getting that. Um, okay. The, the amount of people who ask me if I had anything to do with the pizza. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Is is um, I mean honestly, it's it's a fair assumption, but no, I have nothing to do with it. You you've made a brand for yourself. It's I, like pizza I have, and root beer. 
<laughs> that's it. That's all I am. Yep. <laughs> You're actually just three pizzas and a root beer and a trench coat. There you go. (laughs) Lights, hair is just cheese, you know? It's just... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pepperoni for eyes. Pepperoni for eyes. It's like a Chia Pet, but with cheese instead. Yeah. It's not blood. Little little balls of mozzarella as teeth. Mm -hmm. Yes. There we go. This cursed imagery that is in my brain. (laughs) This is cursed. (laughs) This is a a sensory nightmare. All right. Just imagining soft teeth. Ugh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, thank you. Uh, I hate that. I hate that for all of us. I hate that. Uh, I hate that know, for me. We're sorry, you audience. You have to say that out loud. <laughs> how do you, yeah, audience, how do you feel about soft teeth? Comment down below and tell us why it's the worst thing in the world. Uh, okay, we're going to go to Tell combat. us your favorite bug that has soft teeth. No, like, okay, oh, no. we're moving to combat to get away from this nightmare that has started. Uh, I apologize. Uh, we are going to... <laughs> Yeah, you really didn't have to say it out loud. Okay. You know, I really didn't, but here we are. The are better as inside. This, this, this is the world we're living in now, everyone. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to go to combat. <laughs> we're going to send a flying Yuriko over to Chloe. Yeah, I kind of figured. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's that is fair. going to be uh, two damage coming your way oh, there. Um, in response to the Yuriko trigger that is oh, on the stack I here. Uh, I am not ninjutsuing, no. Oh. So the damage the damage has happened. Okay. It's just the Yuriko triggers on the stack now. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm going to tap a blue and I'm going to brainstorm. Ooh. So I'm going to draw three and then put two cards from my hand on top of my library in any order. I wonder what um, card you're going to put on top of your library. True three. Uh, I am going to put, let's see. I need to make sure I get the order correct. You should put a land there. Yeah, I'll just put, I'll put putting the, the yeah. land there. <laughs> yeah, I'll put a land or like stack. a one CMC thing. Uh, we're going to yeah. do that, and then this is going to go on top. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to judge you for whatever card you just put on top. Just saying. Are you ready? Here it yeah. comes. Yeah. Seven Here's judgment. Oh, <laughs> that's how many damages? That's 11. 11 damage. Oh, my God. 11? 11, sorry. Yep. <laughs> sorry. Oh, my God. It, to be fair, that's so the heaviest that this deck can hit for. So, you know. Oh my god, um, so much. I'm it is, bleeding it is a out lot. currently. It is a lot. I apologize. <laughs> um, okay, we are then in our second main phase. Uh, we're going to tap. I'm sorry I killed Gris, Nixie. For real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, tapping that for a black, we're going to go with the Tormented Soul. Uh, it is a 1 1 spirit that cannot block and cannot be blocked. Uh, and then I think it makes sense to do this. Uh, we're going to go Reliquary Tower for Colorless and put down a Sensei's Dividing Pot. A little top yeah. action. Um, and then that is going to be my turn. I will pass from there. All right. And also, like, you can just make it up to me with pizza, but not... Chicago yeah, because a hot take. I don't like Chicago style pizza. Um, that's also that's, not the, that's it's fine. not the real Chicago style either. It's also uh, not the real Chicago style. It's it's ever is the real Chicago style. Yes, correct. Speaking truth over there. See, I yeah. you know I want to cry because all I have right now are tap lands. So oh, no. um, oh, no. oh, no. if only I had, uh, if only I was able to make tokens. You know, oh, yeah, maybe I could, only, maybe yeah. I could do things. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. I wonder why I can't make tokens. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's not any reason why you can't make tokens. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Wrong, it, it, exactly. Yeah. It's crazy. Anyways, we're gonna <laughs> do our saber hands <laughs> at <the> Pat's <laughs> turn. Oof. That's All it. Right. That's it. This is where we're at now, folks. This is this is it. Okay. Mm. Thank you to stop from getting hit by 11 damage. Yeah, I know, right? It's, it was one time, okay? Listen. Uh-huh. Listen. There is no Draco in here, so don't worry. There's no, like, 13 damage out of nowhere. First thing I'm gonna do is... I just need to see if I can get something. I'm gonna do Shark High to draw two. Mm-hmm. And I will discard... And let's see, is there anything I can do to get rid of your dumb little Eureka? 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. How Sorry, there's no wow, no particular reason. The radar. I love it. Yeah. You know, Yuriko is just the hardworking ninja over here. You know, trying to make life happen. All right. <laughs> Um, Listen, uh, if you're in the comments right now, uh, if I see a hashtag, uh, Yuriko did nothing wrong, I'm going to scream. Please do it. That's an arcane signet. Ram and Mirror Smith. Um, I will want to make a mirror. Um, what yeah. else have I got here? Uh, here, that's a mirror. Oops. My Apple AirPods are really <laughs> Love nice. it. That's I mean, very honestly, good. That's very when good. they're just yeah. the AirPods, they do kind of look like Mirror. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, yeah, so create a Mirror, and then uh, I will draw one from the mm -hmm. RAM. Like, I will say I can potentially get Yuriko off the board on my turn, but that doesn't mean Yuriko doesn't just come back down on Cody's turn. It's true, yeah. Yes. We can all blame Let's Gavin play. for not making uh, ninjutsu tax a thing. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I blame him every day. I see it. <laughs> I send him a text every single day being like, hey, dude, I hope you're doing well. Anyway, Yuriko, right? Yeah, Yuriko. <laughs> <laughs> as, 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 as a whole as well, you know, many things. Yeah. We have movie nights every week. And uh, and I, I just, you know, as the movie ends, just, yeah. So my thoughts on the movie is Eureka Tax is, is not <laughs> a cool thing. Um, <laughs> why would you do that? Um, yeah, but just why? <laughs> just point? why? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can do anything How this do you turn. I will. Really? Yeah, Gavin, that was dumb. Yeah, unfortunately, I think I have to pass. I can't do anything this uh -huh. turn. You you could help me get some insect tokens. Oh, do you want me to? Um, here I will... little, So long as it won't die, just yeah. <laughs> um, here I will. It's a two three. Yeah. Um, all right. You know what? I will move to combat. And this, this is because I feel bad. Okay, I'm gonna swing the mirror smith at you. It's two. Mm hmm. Cool. So, so I will block. You'll get two insects. Yes. Smith. Yes. Smith. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Here comes the bug. You have more Thank mana. You. you have so much more I mana do. Now. Yeah. I can Don't actually make me regret this next day. I will. I will. I will. All right. I will. If pass. I could take away, if I could take away the the toxic, I would. <laughs> Here's another forest. Um, I would like to pay a red, and I will. Loot ever so faithlessly. Ooh, yeah. Draw two. I'll discard two. Reading. I'm going to discard a forest and a plains. Um, I will pay a green or a Lanowar else. Just a, just a little guy. No big deal. We're just gonna go to combat. Those are adorable little ants. Yeah, okay. tiny. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Cody, you're yeah. doing a lot. Here's Vojo. My pilot <laughs> is really well drawn as well. Uh, trigger. <laughs> yes. I have one, two, three. All the so actually, um, one, two. I have two elves. Yeah, I have two elves. Right. Yeah, two. So. <clears throat> Your pilot kind of looks like it's in a TIE fighter. Yeah, <laughs> I was going for like a 747, but you know, I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's a room, so it just kind of doesn't end. Or <laughs> <laughs> well, like weirdly enough, like from a distance, it almost kind of looks like the drawing of a dog. Like you've got like the ears, the eyes, like the pilot, oh my like gosh, the nose, the you're mouth, right. right? A six eyed yeah, dog. dog. Six dog. Six yeah. eyes. It's so it's it's Shieldred <laughs> secretly, you know. It's, it's yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's Shieldred dog. dog. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Cody, you have a total of uh, seven, eight, twelve damage now coming I can't your way with that. trample. Uh, in response, uh, no. 
Like, uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, cool. We can just veto veto damage. Yeah, can I yeah, veto the 11 damage that was done to me before? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just say uh, no next time. Yeah. Move dot. Uh, okay, 12. Wow. Uh, what a convenient number because if I take all of that, I die to commander damage. Yeah, a, I'm trying to a, force you to block. What a fantastic world. Um, yeah, I think I have to block with Ornithopter, sadly. Uh, best ninja, RIP. Goodbye, Ornithopter. Uh, RIP Ornithopter in the comments down below. Uh, <laughs> I will take 10, though, yep. and go down to 20 and uh, notably be uh, real close to dying yep. from commander damage here. So, uh, yeah, I'm at 19 commander damage. Oh, and my God. My second main, I'm going to make myself even more of it. I'd like to play a Maskwood Nexus. Uh, yep. Cool. And I'm going to pass the turn. Very neat. Very cool. Very yeah, I, I did money. not know how very, strong this deck awesome. was going to be. I, I apologize. <laughs> no, it's all good. See, if we had just kept Ashiok out, Chloe wouldn't have the mana to do any of this, everybody. Fair. That is fair. Consequences. You know, Our actions have consequences. I... I'm, Maybe you shouldn't have punched me for turn whoa, one. Whoa, 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 whoa. I will say I'm one <laughs> board wipe away from having to rebuild very desperately. <laughs> True. Yeah. But, uh, you know, um, what to do, what to do. This is a tough spot to be in. Um, I guess that's probably the only thing that I really can do. Um, yeah, let's let's just go for this. Uh, we're gonna go colorless, blue, uh, colorless, and another blue. So four total to cast uh, Sakashima of a thousand faces. Uh, this is a three-one human rogue. It's gonna enter as a copy of Yuriko. So Sakashima is a copy of that. So we're gonna get two Yuriko triggers um, if and when uh, my ninjas hit. Because uh, we're just trying to do as much damage as possible before I probably die next turn. Um, okay, uh, going to combat. Loey, you still don't have any flyers, do you? I sure don't. And I don't have any reachers currently either. <clears throat> All right. Um, so then what we're going to do is we are going to throw both Yuriko and the unblockable Tormented Soul at you mm -hmm. just to try and get some more damage in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so... Um, that's going to be two damage from Yuriko, one from the Tormented Soul. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll get two triggers off of the uh, Yuriko and the Sakashima that's a copy. Um, so the first one we flip. Oh, it's a land. It's a beautiful land, but beautiful zero land. damage. Mm -hmm. uh, and then another land. Oh, oh no. So oh, safe. No. So safe. <sighs> uh, that is so unfortunate. <laughs> uh, boy. Well, um, we cry on the inside. Uh, <laughs> you know, um, and then I guess second main phase, uh, just to do it, we're going to play said beautiful foil yes. island, uh, which massive shout out to the, uh, the magic team there for, for making these a thing. Cause these are like the most gorgeous lands ever. They're so nice. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I think we just have to pass from there and hope that we survive. All right, let's let's see if we can do things now. <laughs> Stuff and things. Oh wow! Would you like that another tap land? Uh, oh. cool. Love love that for me. I literally just updated the mana base in this too, and it's supposed to be so much better. Uh, not experiencing that. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. It's uh, fine. Everything is fine. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's fine okay so uh let's let's see how do i want to as much as i want grist out right now i know that i need more of a board state mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little uh yeah green green black one black that's five tap both of these for green and we're gonna put out a hornet queen oh, the queen <laughs> and I'm gonna make four uh four one one green insect creature tokens with flying and death touch. Yep. Nice. Yay! I I live to see another day. 
<laughs> uh, and while I make those, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pass my turn. Well, I feel like Eureka is not of this world for very long, but nope. then we have well, a very large board state. <laughs> See my board. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's uh, very it's big real presence. Good. Yeah, that board's got a lot of personality. I tell you what. Oh, it's got so much personality. You have any flyers, Chloe? I do not have flying. That is how you speak to me. Correct. This is one. Okay, I think I'm gonna try this. First, before I do that, I'm going to do the pilots. Um, so that's six power and toughness, mm -hmm. seven, eight, um, with SRAM to crew Shorakai. Oh, Shorakai, it's mm -hmm. big. Yeah. And then I'm going to add six to play Cyber Drive Awakener. So all of my artifacts. Shroud and also now, and until end of turn, each non creature artifact um, is now a 4 4. So that includes my arcane signet. And oh, wait, oh, it's not my mirror, that is a creature. No, oh, hold on. Uh, well, that's that's what I did. I did that. So, um, now I will swing eight flying, 12 flying. Sixteen. Sixteen. Dang, that five. one mirror that what I realized that it was the mirror wouldn't get plus wouldn't be a four four. Oh. So sixteen flying at me, huh? Um Yep. Sixteen flying. Okay. I'll go down <laughs> to three. <laughs> um Okay. That is unfortunately my turn. Okay. Um, I will uh, drop from SRAM because yep. of the Cyber Drive Awakener. And... Yep, I thought my triggers. I will ignore my land tax trigger and draw for turn. Oh, I see. I see. Oh. <laughs> so that's how this ends, huh? Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> um... I would like to apologize to the table for what I'm about to do. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Am I about to erase all these tokens? Forest. <laughs> I think I think so, next week. I just drew um, them. <laughs> I just drew them. Forest. Ouch. Forest. And one. I'd like to play an unnatural growth. Oh, uh oh. Yeah. 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 Oof. Um, Oof. That's how that's in, huh? Yeah, unfortunately, um, I don't have a great way to give trample right now, so only two of my creatures have trample. But uh, this is uh, about to be very bad. Um, I'm going to go to combat. Is there any responses to combat? <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'm gonna tap Sensei's Divining Top okay. to draw a card and put top on top okay. just to see. Okay, just to see if you can draw a bounce spell. Yeah. Okay. You are free to move ahead. Okay. Um, I'm gonna declare attacks. I'm gonna send the big bad wolf over at you, Cody. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna send the Fleetfoot Dancer at Nexi. And I'm going to send the Snarling Wolf and Avacyn's Pilgrim over at Light. I'll have an attack trigger. Um, my creatures will get one, two, three, four, five, six counters put on them. Wow. Ooh, okay. Voha, oh, okay. What, a, what a card. Yeah, that card. this card's actually insane. Yeah, it is. it is cracked for sure. Okay. 
And then I'll draw one, two, three, four, five cards. One, two, three, four, five. And my, at the beginning of combat, double the power and toughness of each creature I control. Um, so that would have happened before, actually. Um, mm -hmm. So everything minus six. So, uh, fuck. Why did I do this to myself? Um, <laughs> Why have I done this? You need a notepad. Um, I do need a notepad. Okay, so Voja going at um, Cody is a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 28, 22, 27 total with Trample. <laughs> oh. Yep. Um, yeah. Fleetfoot that's going at Nexi is 4. And 20, 26 with trample coming at you. Yep. Then uh, eight to 16, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, non trample, and a. So these are both the same, actually. So both 22 Not with 22. no trample at light. Um, hard. Yeah. All right. Done funds. You're up first. Yep. 25, uh, yeah. 25 <clears throat> 25 trample. I uh I really wish I, I had an answer of some sort, but uh sadly the card that I drew off of that sensei stop activation uh a little too late would have been a treasure cruise, which would have been real nice maybe oh, a turn no. or two earlier. Uh, but sadly, uh, I have to take the damage and die because I will die to trample and commander damage. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, Nexi, hello. Uh, yeah, the most that I could block would bring it down to uh, to seventeen damage coming my way, I believe, and cool. uh, that's it. Okay. So I I die. Yep. Now, light, you do happen to have two blockers. I do happen to have? I have my mirror. My AirPods, and then um, which is unfortunate, but I am going to be gaining a bunch of life from the Fleetfoot Dancer, which will be a total of what was it? Um, six, ten, twenty. I'll gain twenty-six life. So I'll be at twenty-eight. Hmm. Okay. And you have one blocker, and that's Voja, right? Yeah, I have Voja, but I have a lot of cards in my hand. Yeah, I do okay. have a lot of cards in my hand. Um, my turn. Um, not um. Yeah, I'll let you go to your turn as I pick out oh. which cards I'd like to keep. Re really quick, by the way, I forgot to mention as I died, uh, but me b blocking things real quick, uh, the Flea Foot Dancer would be blocked by the Death Touchers. Yeah, and it so will it die. Would... Yeah. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So I'm discarding a friendly li rivalry, rivalry, a uh, Command Sphere, and a Spelunking. <laughs> All right, Light, let's see if you can kill me. Okay. How much and Voja is Voja is huge currently right now. a huge, huge beast. Um five, 13, 18, 18, it looks like. Yeah. Correct. What you're gonna do is I'm going to swift reconfigure um Voja. Um, Boja is now a. Oh, can you a, pay the ward three? Ward three. Um, yeah, I will pay the ward three. Okay. Um, now a vehicle with crew five. Now a vehicle. Okay. Um, so that's yours. Uh, Sram will trigger, mm -hmm. draw a card. Yep. Okay. I will. Tap one and uh, do the shortcut thing. So I'll drop two. Mm -hmm. And discard and is unfortunately my turn. 
on your instep. I do think I have to swords the indomitable archangel. Okay. You will gain some life, however, equal to its power. Oh, I'll untap. You're telling me I have to crew Voja? Mm -hmm. You're telling me this wolf has cup holders? <laughs> <laughs> I'll draw for turn. That's a card to have drawn. Um, Six taking a damage from Thram Portal. Um, I would like to Vivian Stampede as my top deck. Oh. Um, each creature you control gains Vigilance, Trample, and Melee until the end of turn. At the beginning of your next main phase, draw a card for each player who has dealt damage. The thing I like is Trample. Yeah, Trample is a yeah. good, pretty good one. Yeah, yeah, I would like to crew Voja. Okay. I'll code to combat. Okay. I'd like to swing three huge tramplers at you that are going to get potentially double the size. Yikes. Yeah, that tramples. Uh, I would have reality shifted Voja, but ah. um, yeah, you attacking me for like 50 damage with trample. It's not going to do it. So, yep. Good game. game. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry, Nexi, that you got to draw all those tokens just for them to get stomped <laughs> down by a big old elf and dog. It's it's okay. You know, honestly, as soon as I saw your commander, I, I was just like flashbacks from watching uh, game nights. That is what and made I was me like, want to build this deck. Yeah. That episode it, it's exactly incredible. why I built this deck. Yeah. I, I'm currently building um, outside of this. Uh, I mentioned to, to this to you before, um, before re uh, recording, but how I'm building a, a Savra deck. Yes. And so I'm taking a lot of inspiration from... Uh, from the uh, Voya deck. Beautiful. The queen. I Oh my gosh, I nice. need one of those. I'm actually working on the cosplay for her right now. Um. So, um, I haven't said anything about this online, really. I've just posted little hints. I will be cosplaying the anime version on Friday in Chicago. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, yes. Oh my gosh. I got Mick Mythic Michaela to build the cosplay for me. Oh, that's amazing! Yeah, 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 yeah. Cody oh made goodness. one comment about it, and I was like, "Yep, you're right. I gotta do it." Yeah, like, <laughs> the, moment, what the moment this cosplay. That, yes, like the I love moment that the anime art got spoiled. I saw it, and I was like, "Yo, this is just Chloe." Like you realize this, right? <laughs> like this literally is just Chloe art. Like that's all this is. I love that so much. Um, thank y'all all, all for coming on. That was a very fun game, albeit a little fast, but we are just over an hour, so like perfect. Um, yeah. Yeah, this was very fun. Thank you. <laughs>
Uh, I do love the casual side of things, as well as other formats as well, uh, whether it be standard, modern, uh, legacy, would love to get into that someday. Um, so we're learning more about that stuff. But um, yeah, uh, this was a ton of fun. Uh, always love getting to play some casual magic. I don't get to play enough of it these days, so I always appreciate the opportunity to do so. Um, ton of fun. Uh, you can check out all of my stuff at thejundfun.com. I've got merch stores. I've got uh, a bunch of cool stuff coming in the works here. Um, I can go ahead and announce this now since this will be out at the time this happens, but uh, I have partnered with Jank Mats uh, to produce play mats featuring my designs. Um, so that will be cool. available through Jank Mats. So if you like stuff like this or various other artwork that I have uh you'll have it through my channel. Um, you'll be able to purchase that through them. Um, so check them out. Otherwise, thank you, Chloe. It's been a, a ton of fun. Uh, and I, I hope everyone that watched this had some fun and, uh, you know, protect Yuriko at all costs. Yuriko <laughs> did nothing wrong. Comment it down below. I want to see a war in the comments over this. All right? <laughs> Get that engagement up. All right, let's go. It's gonna be it's gonna be people defending Yuriko and then also being like, I like centipedes. I like yes, ladies. Literally. <laughs> yeah. The bug the bug kids there in the corner. Insects in this episode. <laughs> yes. I know. Uh you know, I I will probably forever be holding a grudge against Light now. Um but it's okay <laughs> no. because he has a right to do so uh towards me for that single toxic single point of toxic. one one. But anyways, uh so hi, I'm I'm Nexi and uh yeah if you want to check out any of my stuff, I am an occasional uh Twitch streamer at Nexus MTG. Um I do a lot of uh bulk sorting. I have a card collection of well over two hundred thousand cards right now that I'm trying to get through. Um organize it and uh build decks and have fun so if you like any of that stuff if you like cosplay stuff random shit posty bullshit uh then go check out my twitter too at nexus mtg it's basically at nexus mtg on everything except for instagram is at nexus dot mtg because someone stole that from me um <laughs> and so <laughs> uh so yeah thank you chloe this was a lot of fun hopefully grist hopefully new grist will see uh the light of day again shortly um and hey i you know comment down below if you got to face grist in uh in chicago yes. <laughs> there you go there it is, there it is. Beautiful. all right thank you thank you so much for having me